This or that? Would you rather Wednesday? Wednesday. Would you rather be trapped in the Matrix or the Lord of the Rings universe? At first I was like, I don't know about this one. But then I was like, this is a great, great question. Because they're similar, but also very different. Well, first of all, I've never seen The Matrix, just commercials or bits and pieces. Okay. I did see Lord of the Rings, uh, but it was a long time ago, and I really don't remember a whole lot about it. But I would pick Lord of the Rings. That's what you think now. Let's uh, let's talk through it. We can't have a, uh, a show that's less than a minute. So you think <laughs> you think you have your answer. You don't even like you haven't even discussed the options here. Well, now, I don't know anything about the Matrix. Isn't that a dark all? I don't know what it's about even. Well, as a world, the Matrix is a little bit dark, but then at the same time, so is the Lord of the Rings. My God, there's so much fire and death and destruct destruction, and um, it's just not as they, dark. Not when they stay at their home, and then when they venture out and leave their home, then that all that happens. No, there's some like dark forest type places where you don't ever want to go to. I mean, sure, there are some great places in the Lord of the Rings, but there's some great places in uh, the Matrix too. Since most people in the Matrix, do you know the concept of the Matrix? Do I know the what? The concept of the Matrix. No, that, I haven't watched it. That basically, this world is just a computer simulation. The one we're living in. Yeah. But the people like Keanu Reeves, who is like, you know, they call him the one or in, I don't, I spent so long since I've seen it, but the, the, one of the cool things about the matrix is you can, your brain is like a computer in it and you can basically upload stuff to it and immediately, like you can immediately know how to do karate. So you just like, you just put like a computer program in you and now you are a an expert chef or you are a whatever you learn a new language. Oh. How do you get that update? Can you do it yourself or do you have to go somewhere to get it? Um, I'm not totally sure. In the movie, they were like on the spaceship thing and then they, they basically plug them up in the back of their head and uh, then they just know it. So they're, they, in the movie, they're like living outside of the computer simulation, but then they can put right. themselves in it. And because they know they're in a computer simulation, they have more control over the simulation. But you and me, if the Matrix are real, like right now, we're in the simulation, but we can't, we don't have any control. We're just, we're just living our life. Right. Now in the Hobbit, not the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, I guess it's all kind of the same. That's similar in that there's a uh, magic. Uh -huh. And I think that's, it's almost the same thing. Technology and magic, they're, they're coming closer and closer together. So, it's like, what do you prefer, uh, 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 magic or technology or I don't know, because magic can get pretty dark and dangerous too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I don't know. Um, I, I like the naturey feel of the Lord of the Rings, so I still like that one. You're you're picking Lord of the Rings because you like the naturey feel of it. <laughs> that's your that's your answer. I'm going into like magic and computer simulations and technology and uploading things to your brain, and you say I like the naturey part of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I hope you never have to make this decision because I'm not I'm not sure about your ability to like weigh out the options, <laughs> pros and the cons. You ever, have you ever made a pros and cons list? This your no. first time. Wow. Uh, what's the point? I think you could probably live a more uh, like steady, calm life in the Matrix than you could in the uh, Lord of the Rings universe. I think there's so much more things that can go wrong. So many things you don't have control over. Like magic, you know, the magic is tricky. You don't know when you're going to get hit with magic, with some dark magic. It's just some of that magic just floats through the air, just smacks you in the face. 
Like you don't know the rules. You have no, you don't know the rules of magic. You know the rules of this world though. So if you're living in the matrix, you already know how things are going to go. In that world, you might just die a million deaths. You might, I don't know, you may maybe go to another other magic universe. You might, I don't know. There's just so many things that could go wrong in that world. Yeah. You might find a, a ring and it's it's like one ring to rule them all. And you might have to go on an adventure and almost die a bunch. That probably won't happen in this world. I don't know. Matrix looked pretty uh, deadly to me when I saw commercials. Well, here's stuff. the thing. You're not Neo in the Matrix. In the Matrix, in the movie, most of the people that you see when they're in that simulation, they're like you and me. They don't even They don't even know these things are going on around them. They're just living their life. They are they are part of a computer simulation and they don't know it's a simulation. They're just, it's calm. The only reason it's violent and crazy is because there are these other people who are outside the system that um, are at, at war. Is Neo not from outside the system? Um, he wasn't, but then he was. I can't remember how he got there. I need to rewatch that movie. It's actually a really good movie. You should watch it. It's a fun movie. There's several of them now, isn't there? Huh? There's several of them. Yeah, now. but I don't think the there's three of them, I believe, and I don't think the other two ever got the acclaim that the first one did. Like, if you're gonna watch one, you could watch just the first one and be done with it, and you'd be okay. Uh, gotcha. It's yeah, worth instead watching. Of the, instead of the 15 Lord of the Rings movie. Yes, you could easily watch The Matrix and be like, "That was a good movie," and then just move on from it. Because it was, I mean, it was yeah. good. It was a cool. It's like a cool sci-fi concept. Yeah. That's still referenced to this day. So that's how you know a movie's good. Huh. I think. So. All right. So what I is are you still are you still on the does that you're still your thought? You still well, you're still going with magic? If I can go on and live my life like I am right now, then I guess I'll pick the matrix. Cuz you just want to live like a regular old life. I want to live my regular life. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I think then, I I Huh? I mean, it would be cool to be plugged in and and you can be a chef or something. That's true. Although I don't know if you get those abilities or not. I don't know if you're in the simulation. It didn't really say. It just says you, you want to live in that world. Now, if you're living in the world like Neo, well, I don't know. It is pretty, it's pretty dark and uncertain. And I don't know. That's kind of scary. But you would get to upload whatever. You get learn karate, learn cooking. I don't know what else right. is there. Flying, fly an airplane. Yeah, in the movie, he learns to fly a helicopter real quick. Oh, real quick. Yeah. Oh, wow. They while he's in the simulation. So here's what here's what happens. So when he is in the simulation, he's basically in a like a chair, a hospital chair, and then in the back of his head, they put a like a wire, a cord, and that's how you're mm -hmm. plugged into the system. So wow. he feels like you and I do, like we're just in the world. He doesn't, it yeah. doesn't feel like he's laying in a chair. It just feels like he's in the world. But he also knows that he's not in a real world and he can communicate with the people that are outside of that simulation and they can just, they can upload things to his brain while he's in the simulation. So they could, they could give him the ability to fly a helicopter, to know how to fly a helicopter within seconds. Wow. Yeah. You really but should watch the only, movie. <laughs> you're only doing that if you need it. Like he needs it right now. Yeah, but I guess once you know it, you know it. But it's just like a computer. You could probably install software, uninstall software. It's pretty cool. I think it's where we're going in real life, actually. Could be dangerous, though. You could get the wrong plug-in. That's true. And, uh, you know, run into that problem plenty of times with computers. And, and you can kill your computer. You can get a virus. It can die. That's right. <laughs> you might smash your computer. So it's a little scary. Um, okay. Final answers. What do you, where, where's your head at? Mm, I still like Lord of the Rings. I don't know why. Maybe because I watched that and I haven't watched the other and the other is so dark. And so I still lean towards Lord of the Rings. All right, fine. As long as you don't say it's because of the nature -y aspect of it. That's fine. Because it's nature -y and it looks nice. <sighs> All right, well, I'm choosing the Matrix because I uh, have a love of learning and oh, I have. You want to be plugged in. Huh? And you want to be plugged yes, in. Yes, I want somebody to plug me into the wall. And <laughs> I have 
Also a, I have a love of learning, but an even greater love for learning with no effort. I was gonna say, because you're not really learning. I love, it's maybe it's more of a love of just knowing. I love knowing. <laughs> there you go. 